Hey there folks, John here at Betty Kong's Quest, and uh, it's been a little while since I made a video, and uh, honestly I say that a lot, uh, but you know, last year around this time I made a video about the Mario Game & Watch, uh, where I basically just unboxed it and gave my thoughts, and it was pretty informal. Uh, you'll see I'm in my office here, I'm actually just at work. Um, and I had a couple minutes, so figured I would make a video about it because uh, today the Zelda Game and Watch came out, um, and it has some cool features on it. And I figured, you know what? Let's make a video. Let's talk about it. So here we go. Okay, so like I said, the Zelda Game & Watch came out today. Uh, it includes uh, six games, or actually three games and three uh, three bonuses, I guess. Maybe four, if you depending on how you say it. Um, so you've got The Legend of Zelda, you've got Adventure of Link, you've got uh, Link's Awakening, which is really the reason that I bought this to begin with. Um, you have, uh, what is it, it's called uh, Vermin? Um, and it says it's the Link version, so I guess it's a Zelda version of uh, the old Game & Watch game, Vermin. Um, you have the little uh, clock, the interactive clock, like the Mario one did, so I'm sure there's some cool surprises there. Um, and then you have uh, what they call the Playtime Timer. I think what this is, is it's like a timed like enemy rush um, for Zelda 2, so you go and you beat as many enemies as possible in a given amount of time. So um, we're going to open this up, we're going to see what it's like. Uh, I did go ahead and slit the little plastic things keeping the sleeve on. Uh, just to make it faster for this video. Um, but, uh, first of all, if you do this, if you've seen one of these before, they actually have these cool little uh, 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 clear um, slip covers on them, but the slip covers, they're not just protective, they've actually got artwork on them. So, you know, they go together with it and make a new picture, which is pretty cool. Um, so, I really like that. It's a little, just a little extra touch that Nintendo did with this thing. Um, but this is what it looks like when it's out of the box, or out of the slip cover. Uh, before we open it. So let's open it and see what's inside. I also like it when they have the uh, the little tabby right here where you can just grab it with your finger and, and open it. Hopefully I don't bend it because I don't want to bend the edges of it. Let's see if it works. Let's see if I get the bend or not. Oh, there's one, there's two. Yeah, look at that straight edge. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to open that up just like that. Okay, and then I'm holding it upside down. We don't want it to fall out. And so I'm gonna open it so you guys can kind of see it a little bit. But there it is. Oh, and it's got that nice little Triforce on it. I'm gonna take this off. Um, whoop, and it looks like we've got a, oh, look at that. I'm not gonna show you the other side, but um, there's a uh, My Nintendo reward card right here. And it, you get, um, what does it say? 300 platinum points for uh, redeeming it on your My Nintendo. So that's pretty cool. But when you pull it out, that's what you get. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's got this little uh, this little uh, Triforce um, on the, uh, the the console holder, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't remember the Mario one having anything like that. Uh, and then it looks like you can see it's got some instructions here. Um, you can actually see it's got a little tab right there, so you pull that up. I'm assuming. Oh, am I going to bend that one? Nope. And inside this we have what do we have? We've got the little teeny tiny USB cable. This thing is like, I don't know, it's got to be like a foot and a half long, maybe, 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 or maybe it's six inches. It's probably like six inches. And there's nothing else in there. That's it. It was just a little tiny USB cable. Um, I'm assuming for charging and um, that's about it because you can't load anything else on this thing. So it's not like you can connect it to your computer and do anything with it. Um, so if I pull it out of here, uh, we'll get the full experience here. Voila. There it is. You can see my reflection, my video reflection on my phone there in the screen. Very shiny, uh, very nice. Looks like I had it upside down. So there you go. There it is, right side up. Uh, thing's pretty sick. It's very shiny. The plastic is very shiny. Um, it's got that cool gold plate like it did before. Um, the Mario one had that too. Uh, it's interesting. The the D-pad is really far down here, so you kind of got to cradle it real low in your in your hands when you're playing it. Um, but still pretty cool. Uh, so I'm guessing I turn it on by hitting game, maybe? Maybe start. What do we 
do to turn it on? Is it just supposed to just come on? Power button. Power button is on the side, it looks like. So, aha! I didn't look hard enough. There's the power button right there, right next to the charging port. I saw the charging port. I really probably should have seen that. So, we're going to turn it on. Let's see how it looks. Ooh! Look at that. That Zelda artwork right there. Um, it's flashing at me. Oh, it's, uh, it says press the time button. So we're going to press the time button. See what happens. Did it work? There's the time button. Oh, we got a little Triforce. It's kind of a squished Triforce. Oh, look. So there is the clock screen. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus here. It might be a little too close for it. There we go. So it says it's uh, it's noon. I'm not going to bother setting the clock right here while you guys are watching. Um, but you can see Link's running around there. He's uh, He killed an Octorok, and I guess he's going to go to a new screen now. Oh, nope, he faked us out. So you can see he's doing stuff there. If I hit start, let's see what happens. Nothing. Um, let's hit the game button up here. So do that so you guys can see it. So there's the game button. Well, now we can select what game we want. So uh, we have, let me see here. We have, we're, right now we're on uh, the original Legend of Zelda, and then you have Adventure of Link, um, and then you have Link to, uh, Link's Awakening, which again, my, it was my reason for buying it. Um, and then you have the little Game & Watch game here, uh, Vermin, I guess, um, which uh, looks kind of familiar. And then you have the timer, and that's the uh, that's the, the time attack version mode for uh, Zelda 2. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go ahead and start Link's Awakening now. I have, um, I have a, and is there a way to turn the volume up and down, I wonder? Hmm. I'll figure that out later. Um, but anyway, so I have a lot of nostalgia for Link's Awakening. Um, this, this game was really important to me growing up. And, uh, you know, this was actually my first Zelda. Um, I probably wouldn't have ever gotten into Zelda if it wasn't for this game. And I, I don't know, my parents bought it for me at Christmas, probably because somebody at the department store or whatever told them to. Um... And it was one of those things where there was a lot of mystery to it. Uh, it wasn't a game that held your hand at the beginning. Um, and it, I probably had it for several months before I even uh, really got into the first dungeon. Um, but for me, being a young gamer at that point, um, I'm guessing I was probably six or something, uh, it was an important one for me. So I'm really excited to have this one. Um, and honestly, this is probably going to be my Link's Awakening machine, because I, I replayed this one more than just about any other Zelda, um, hands down. So, uh, like I said, really happy to have this one. Let's go ahead and start a file here and see. Um, so there you go. So there's the select file. And just in case you didn't know this little Easter egg, if you come in here and you make your name Zelda... Which, by the way, this is what people will call you in the game. Is that an E? Yep, it's an E. E. L. D. A. And then you hit start. Watch what happens. You get like a like a different version of the main theme, and it's really cool. So if you haven't played this game before, or if you have and you didn't know about it, try that out. You get a little little music track that you don't get anywhere else in the game, um, other than right here if you put in the name Zelda. So, um, anyways, it's kind of hard to see on my phone camera just because my phone camera is um, it's a phone camera. Uh, but man, this thing is uh, is like super bright and super clear. Um, which I'm really excited about, and um, honestly, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this, I think. Um, also, there's the little Triforce logo. You know, I said that, that had that embossed Triforce right there. Um, that circle lights up, which I think is a really cool little touch. So, um, you know, we'll go back to the, uh, the time here, and we'll see. Now, the cool thing about the time, too, and then I'll wrap this up, is that at any point, I can take control of Link. See, he was walking around on his own. Now I can take control of him. See, and he's getting hurt by the Octa Rocks because I am playing this backwards. Is that cool? And then I'm sure there's lots of other little Easter eggs with it too. Um, 
you know, just like there was with the old one. But uh, the buttons feel really nice too. Um, this this honestly feels just like an NES D-pad, and I do a lot of speed running on the NES, so I'm very familiar with that. These are a little bit. These are like little squishy rubber buttons. They actually feel like they would on a an actual Game and Watch or like a um, like one of those Tiger handheld devices. They're kind of rubbery and kind of squishy, but I think they'll work just fine, uh, especially for this game. Um, and then you've got select and start, and then you just have your mode buttons up here. And that's about it. So um, it's really cool. I'm really glad I picked this up. Uh, again, this one's just going to be one that I just chuck in my backpack and keep it there. Um, and I pull it out and I just play Link's Awakening every now and again because, um, again, I really love that game. It's, it's one of my favorites. So uh, that's about it for this video. Um, but I do have another video coming up, and I know I say that sometimes, um, and then it's weeks without, uh, without publishing a video. But... Um, you know, I say I've said it before, but I work in the film industry, and my work generally is is very in, inconsistent. Um, and I've been doing a lot lately, which is actually really nice, obviously for the, for me. But um, it does get in the way of the YouTube stuff. But that said, I am doing another video here, uh, probably within the next week or so, um, because I uh, got a little package from my friend Jay over at Square Pegs uh, that I'll be unboxing soon, um, and it's going to be really really cool. Uh, it's part of a bigger project um, that uh, YouTubers have been doing, um, and uh, it's going to be sweet. So um, watch out for that. That should be here in the next week or so. I should be able to get that up, um, and then we'll uh, you know, tell you where that box is going to go next. But um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and you know, I will let you guys know uh, as soon as that next video is up, and I will see you guys next time.